should probably drop that jar of oil I got. That is a glass jar. Well, that doesn't help me at all. All right, everybody. This is Dark Horse Marker. We are back with Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Ah. Ah, I'm not ready. All right, back into it. Did I literally just moan, like, load on someone moaning ahead? That, that is... <sighs> Give me a minute. Let's see if I can find some kind of oil around here, but I highly doubt it. Alright, well, I hoped. I tried. And... There's nothing. Ugh. Oh. It's not working. Come on. It's got to be a way. Can I just jump over? No. Okay. Give the rack. Yeah. Alright, so I gotta move the rocks first. Alright, well, I guess we're done. What are we even at? Nothing. Three. Eight. No. Alright, fine. I don't have a choice in the matter. I have nowhere else to go. Oh, why? Oh, this is... This is the epitome of everything I never wanted. I can't see anything. <gasps> okay, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I just don't wanna. I just don't wanna. I'm sure my sa yeah, my sanity just like dropped like a stone. Oh my gosh. I can't see, so it's not like I can tell where anything's happening at. I don't have a choice. I have to keep going forward. Please. I can't even light this. All I know is there's moaning. It's coming from somewhere. Why can't, why can't I leave? All right. Um. Oh, I hear stuff coming from in front of me, so we're going right. I can't see. Kind of helpful. What was that? Uh, it could be freaking anything. Get used to the dark, Daniel. Oh, I hear walking. Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. Dude, stop yelling. We're all in trouble here. It's not just you. I'm mainly concerned for me. I have that right. I am, there's a mouse in here. Oh, Daniel. As long as you don't go too crazy, I think we're okay. I don't think I could. Oh, it's just a door off its hinges. That's fine. 
Tinderbox. I really would like some oil here, but... Uh, I'm not finding anything. A rock. That's not a rock. There's something else. Sheesh. I can hear walking. <sighs> Alright. End of the darkness. Get your night vision up. Can't light that. Oh, that's nice. How about no? I can't hide behind anything. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Ah, I saw something. It was right ahead of me. My sanity is eventually just going to crumble at this point. I, I don't know what's going to happen to Daniel. Daniel, I'm sorry. I did a bad man. I came down here without any oil. All right, the music stopped. I don't know that it means it went away, but... Darkness. Closing in. Everywhere is dark. This way. I can't see anymore. I'm here in Steppen, and I don't like it. And I don't even know where I came from. Oh my gosh. I'm getting these moans and screams. I, I just, uh, I'm lost. Although I know which way it came from, so I know which way I kind of have to go. Let's go left. This is like helping, but. Oh, look, a room. A hammer. And gasping from somewhere else. Oh, oh sheesh. Yeah, I might just hang here for a second. This music is different. Uh, I wish I had doors. That'd be nice. These books for distractions. Oh, my doors are on the floor! Can't shut those. Alright. Can do this. Maybe not. I can't see anything. It's pure dark. Just gonna... Yep. This is fine. <sighs> Bottle. Daniel, I apologize, because I don't mean to be putting you through all this darkness. We're, we're gonna leave this wide open. We're gonna use this pretty sparingly. Okay, fine. 
Ah! I hear noises. I don't want to. But I'm gonna. I... Mm. Nothing about this makes me feel good. There was a cup in here or something. Brick. Brick. It's not a book, but it's almost as good. Stay right there. Alright, uh... I want you in the doorway. I'm going to grab you and throw you if I need to. Alright. We got this. This is locked. I can't open this. Well, that exhausted my options, so I guess I'm going the other way. Now, I was pretty sure that this was a dead end, but I didn't... Yeah, okay. How much lantern oil we burned? Almost none. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Wasn't even trying to make a poop joke. It almost happened. I'm here in the step stepping. In retrospect, I probably should not be lighting everything I come across, but. I need it. Daniel son has a hard time without it. Uh hey, give me this. Crap's happening. <sighs> Daniel, just like you need to breathe. I need to breathe. Oh, thank you. That's nice. All right. Drop that in there. Oh, we're almost up to a half tank. I'm just gonna... Ah, I need to stop. The lock tower of the lock is very corroded and weak. Do I need some sort of acid? I bet you I need an acid. Weak lock. Uh, yeah, probably an acid. Can I pick it? No. Can I bash it? No. Okay. Well, I tried. Well, this just opens right up. I'm just gonna shut that behind me. All right. Where is she? Where did she go? You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. Oh, I do not want Stip stepping around me. Uh, this one up the chipper. What does the chipper do? A stone chipper. Isn't that what I want? Eh? I knew it! Hammer and chipper. Stone cutting. Maybe I can use that on the doer. Of course, the second I open this, I'm probably gonna get, like, myrtleized, but we'll try. Cut! Alright, you stay open. There's so much groaning. No. Okay. I need some sort of acid. All right, forward we go. Uh, you're fine, Daniel. I'm fine. The only thing to be afraid of is absolutely everything down here. That's all, you know. I can't like that. All right. Uh. Oh, I can open this one. We good? I'm just gonna shut the door behind me. That was a good strategy. But mother, I don't want to leave without you. Hurry, child. You must go. 
Find Gabriel, the Outrider, and tell him to alert the King's men. No, you come too. Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. But... Someone is coming. Hurry, I'll cover the hole with a bed. Everything will be fine, I promise you. Alexander, just... You know, in retrospect, I know, deep down inside my heart, Daniel's probably not innocent either, but the fact that Alexander started all this, man, I, I don't care how awesome his voice is, he's just a piece of crap! Constipated piece of crap. That's all he is. He's not looking for a vite. He's looking for a way to poop. My poop jokes are bad. I'm sorry. Okay. It said... There's got to be a way to move this. Can't imagine I have to use acid on the bed. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Anything else in here I need? No. There's nothing else. I don't want to be wasting oil. No more of that. Eh, come on. <sighs> Can I look under it? Mm -hmm. I do want to. Alright, um... Alright, well... Did I scroll that in my mementos at least? No. Did not. Well... Something to note, there's a hole under a bed somewhere. That was a test. See if anything crazy is coming after me. Just open this one. Okay, now we're in this one. Oh, I heard something. Just gonna stay right here. Just gonna look away. Ooh, this is creepy. He's smelling for me. My anxiety is actually starting to go away from this game. Although I still hate horror games in general, but unless they find me, I'm not gonna be too horrified. I don't want that. I'm afraid to jump. What if I jump and it hears me? What if it looks in the door and is like, ew, a human? Give me that. Dude, thank you. This is like, come on. My sanity seems to stop going away when I stick close to walls. Stop going away. Stop decreasing. Can I move this bed? Oh! I did. Alright, no choice. If that door flies open. We got a problem. So, one way to go. We right? I think so. I don't remember where I came from. You are fine. You are fine. Everything is fine. This room. Ah, it's blocked off. Never mind. Just keep an eye out. Keep an ear out. This is where I came from. No. Uh, I'm going this way. All right, Daniel. 
I'd just make a big loop. I wouldn't be surprised. I can't keep... Oh, sheesh. Okay. Sanity. Oh boy. Okay. Well. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty pooped on. Uh. <sighs> Man. Search for another way around the barred gate. I'm probably going to die. I can't stay in here forever, though. But I was right, I can definitely outrun them at least. Although, I'm guessing with my sanity low, I probably can't. I still move pretty quick. I'll try it. Not have much of a choice anyway. Wish I had a map. I've checked this multiple times. There's no map. I'll we'll drop that in. I don't know. I don't have much choice. I have to keep going. I don't even remember where I came from. Can't move that one. I mean, this is a dead end. I would like the cockroaches to get off my screen, please. I come from this way? I'm near certain I did. I just can't remember. Barrels. Yeah, I did. <sighs> Alright. Back in we go. I tried the hammer earlier and that didn't work. Full refill. Ooh, I want you. But I should save you, but I don't know if it matters. That would have been nice to have earlier. It's just oil. Oh my gosh. All right, fine. I know this is here. Where am I at? I, I know where I'm at. I'm in that room with the lock. All right. I'll take it. May as well. The worst that can happen is death, and I'll just do it all over. I mean, it could be worse. I think this was the room. I think it was the next room over where the little girl tried to. I'm fairly certain. Let me see here. I don't know. 
species I'm on. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Well, I said it was under the bed. Can you use the item in this way? Oh, my sanity's doing a lot better. I don't know how that happened, but... Oh, 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 oh! I had to push it. I had to push it. All right, uh... Well, it's too narrow. What do you mean it's too narrow to slip through? Too small to fit a man. Oh. Oh, little girl. Okay, and well, that's why we have these. All right. Woo! Dark towers of Brennenburg rose above the forest and were silhouetted against the snow-white moon. He couldn't help feeling sad for some reason. I don't blame you. I feel sad just being here. I swear, if I run into, like, mole people or something, I'm gonna quit. Not really, but that would be absolute... <sighs> well, that way just shook at me, so we're going right. I don't need this. Right? I hope. Uh... I mean, nothing happened. I, I want you to move. There we go. Alright. All right. Why am I stuck? <laughs> you! I'm still here in the moaning. I think I'm alright. Let's check the other exit. I mean, for all I know, there could be something worse on the other end, but hey, I'm willing to take that risk. At least you're safe in these tunnels. Sorta. Alright. I need a drink. <sighs> Alright, it was a good drink. Let's see here. Can you not? I want to be able to get back into this hole relatively easy, so. Easy access. Easy access. Thank you. Put this barrel like right here in case I want to like cover my tracks. <laughs> Why? Oh, and that's in your box. Like, well, I did so good. <sighs> Area cells three. Well, you know. <laughs> ah! Don't hear anything. Colina! Receptaculum. I feel like I've been in a receptaculum. Ugh. I don't think I want to go left. No, I'm not going left. You can't make me. I'm going this way. Uh, receptacle. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Oh. Soon will be ready. Let there be enough time. Too light. Can't see. Okay. Woo! Heh <laughs> heh! Alright, I think we're finally good. 
Maybe. Possibly. Alright, I'm gonna call that good. Alright. Hidey hole is useful. I'm hoping this thing, like, despawned, but... I don't have time for that. It's upsetting me. Stop it! He escaped. Where is he now? Nobody knows. You'll never find me, Alexander. I'm coming to shove things up your butt. Oh, I thought that was a person for a second. Oh, scared the crap out of me. Hey, door. I'll go indoors. We good? Yeah, we're good. Er. Hey, tinderbox and piece of paper. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Well, don't try to get too down on yourself. I mean, worst comes to worst, you could be dead because of you. I mean, I don't know quite what's going on, but clearly you came to the wrong person. Mr. Alexander here does not have your best interests at heart. Okay. Don't wanna. Oh, that's bad. All right. Uh, no choice. First off, give me that. Second off, give me these. Ah, delirium to whatever it is. I don't know. Yep. Right here. Right here. This is perfect. Get some light on you. Perfect. came from. Oh yeah, I said this was bad, and I came from this way. Jar did it. I can't be too sure, but I saw him move. see anything and the music stopped does that mean we're good I hope so 
All right. Progress. All right. Uh. Can't see anything of importance in here. Hey, oil. Give me that. And I need that. Well, then where am I supposed to go? Was that it? <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised. All right, well, at least I did get some oil this time and not an empty glass jar. <sighs> Actually upsets me. All right, back out. Right, did I go in here? I'm fairly certain I did. I don't know. But if she is, that's pretty unfortunate. That happens sometimes. Receptacle. All right, uh, Colina. I feel like I already headed towards the Colina once. Receptacle. Colina. I hear walking again, but well, that's dead end. So there's clearly not walking over there. All right, this way we go. I'm gonna do that, because... <sighs> I'm just happy I have oil. You have no idea. I don't wanna. <sighs> we can do this. All right, now wait a minute. I know where I'm at. It won't budge. All right, well, I guess I'm not going that way. Colina, everything is pointed to Colina, so I guess I'm going to whatever the Colina is. I was expecting a jump scare, but I didn't get it. All right, <laughs> progress. Progress is good. Gross. What kind of food is this? There's mice everywhere. You've got an infestation, man. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. The frick is a Xanadu? I mean, clearly you're boned, but what the heck is a Xanadu? Yeah. Really? Oh! Well. Was not at all what I expected. Oh, are you kidding? do that. Oh, please, don't come near me. No, go home. Go home. Go home, you're drunk. 
Alexander will give you pills to sleep it off. I'm only here to shove things up Alexander's butt. You, sir, are safe. Just go home. Go out the door. You can do it. It's right there. It's a very nice chunk of pig I'm hiding behind. Can't see a shadow or nothing, so he's not coming back this way. I, I seriously didn't think they could break in the door, but I, you know, that actually makes a lot of sense. That was stupid of me to assume. Alright, well, the music has ceased. I got a boiling stew of something. A half rotten pig. Uh, eh? How nice, he shut the door on his way out. Right. Give it that. What do we got here? Ow. Some sort of apple, thanks. Dang it. This is not the one I wanted. I want tab. <sighs> Sweet. All right. That's not me. The fill of ass in the kitchen. Well, I just so happened to have a jar that deceived me into thinking it was oil. All right. That thing is probably still out there. I'll just make a run for it once I'm done exploring. Uh, oh, linodium. That's nice. Le, 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 I said it wrong. Le, 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 healing juice. That's all I got. It's green. Makes me feel better. It's healing juice. Alexander, how do you eat this stuff, man? It's like moldy and green and probably not good for your health. Look, look at that. I could shove this up your butt. What about this? Is it an apple? Is it a poisoned apple? Is it from the queen? You shove this up your butt, too. You shove everything up your butt. You're gonna die from butt plugging. It's gonna be extremely unpleasant. Bunny gets to keep his friend. I don't wanna. Can you shove this bookcase in front of the door? Probably not. Eh. Eh. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. Come on. There we go. All right, only one way to go, yet again. One way to go, and I'm not ready. Yeah, door's gone. All right. <sighs> where did it come from, where did it go? Where did it come from, Got that Joe? Colina, kitchen, hole. Where's this go? Find her. You find her. It still won't budge. Right, uh, this is where I came from. It's a waste of time. I put this away. Do I have any extra oil? Yeah. All right. I'm still hearing this moaning. This needs to stop. I can't see anything again. Uh, I hate that. I always think there's something around the corner. And there's not. Let's go this way. It's making me uncomfortable. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Have I not been back here? I don't think I have. Oh, I have been. I'm, I'm so confused and lost. 
I have, I gotta be moving quick. I don't want to lose my freaking. Is there something down here? I don't see anything. Anyway. Let's go on. All right, so we're going left. I'm hearing somebody getting like punched in the dick. Oh. Hey, anybody, hell! Christ, I don't believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? I don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. I, I don't even know what's going on anymore with these poor people. I just know that Alexander is a douche. He deserves the butt punching I'm gonna give him. The butt shoving, whatever is whatever is gonna happen to him. Alright, well I can't move this. Hi. Are you okay? Well, you're nude. You better not come to life. I will punch the crap out of your butt. All right. I don't want, uh, you're gross. Five fingers, two toes. Something's wrong. All right. Well. Good luck. Have a good day. I'll. See you again, probably never. Oh, another note. Okay, well. <laughs> Give me this. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done but at a price. At a price? Well, you want to kill Alexander now, so methinks he lied to you. Yeah, no, I should leave it. Stay open. All right, uh, how are we doing? Ugh. That cam's a problem. I wish I could put those out. All right. Once again, I have outwitted the bad guys because I'm so smart. Okay. Well. Once again, I shall walk. I'm still hearing this pounding. No, no, no! no. It came from that way. Should be the direction I can go. Can you stop crawling on my face? I hate you. 
You're gross. It's in very poor condition. I wonder what needs to happen here. I'll bet you it's the acid. Oh, give me that. Give me, give me that. We'll drop some of this, and we'll use this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Absolutely not. <sighs> All right, he unraveled the cloth protecting the orb. Alexander reached out, picked it up, and held it up against the light. Cover, he said. Cover it at all times. Why? Uh, I touched the water. Now I'm remembering. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. We're almost there, he says. You a lion? Number is stuck. Its gears need to be greased. I don't think I have any grease. I can't get up there. Oh, look, a ladder. There's a thing in the way. Hmm. All right, well, there's one way. One way and one way only. It won't budge. Oh, okay, maybe not. Do I need to build a bridge? Is it possible? No, it's too heavy. Can I build a bridge out of this? No. It's been forever since I built a bridge. Come on, let me do it just once. Oh. Well, this is for boating. Just like the rest of everything else that exists. Oh my goodness, why? I don't want to. I have bad experiences with water. Things try and nibble on my butt cheeks while I'm in the water. I don't want that. It's not like some other path I can take. No. All right. I guess I'll go and deal with the butt cheek nibblers. You know, you truly become a man when you go in the water with things that like to butt your butt. Water too. Really, man? To enter the sewer, it must be first drained. Okay, well, apparently I'm not going there first. Gosh, dang it. How's my oil? Yeah, that's about what I figured. <sighs> so where am I going? You're killing me here, Daniel. Because the second I find a way up, I'm going to save. Can't get that. I can't get... Hmm. Well, I'll be right back. Hmm. Wait a minute. I'll bet you any money. Uh-huh. Did you uh, Yep. Okay. That's what I thought. You. Uh. 
Are you serious? Can I just like... No. Can you just do the... No. Okay. Brick. Come here. You're not a book, but hit. One of these days, that's going to work. I just don't know how. Fine. Let's try this. I'm gonna pull it right back down. And again. Hey. Okay. Brute force every time. Alright, well, there's a door to the left, a door to the right, and a door that is the only one I can take, so. Alright guys, we're gonna leave this where it's at, and we're gonna call it a day here. I'll be back soon enough. You know, gotta work, gotta make money. It's my life. So until next time guys, I'll see you around.